My name is Kanal. I'm standing for the Green Party in the Edra Ward of Bonnetborough. And I'm Emil, standing for the Green Party in the Hale Ward. Hi, uh, I'm Nathan Wade, uh, and I'm standing in the ward of High Barnet in the 2018 Barnet to Local Council election. So, one of the first things we want to do is get the state of the roads uh, improved because we've got a pothole problem which is affecting cyclists and buses and uh, it's only getting worse they are not being fixed to a high standard therefore uh, they just become recurring problems and the council is just wasting our taxpaying money on on these substandard repairs so we're going to make sure that they're repaired well uh, make sure the contractors are held to account um, and we're also going to ease the congestion caused by illegal parking. So one thing I definitely want to do is bring in a anonymous text hotline where if you see an illegally parked car, that you can you can text the details uh, and the parking wardens can pick that up and, and go and attend to that right away. Uh, and we also want to look at certain bottlenecks and, and, and junctions where, um, where, where traffic is being uh, hindered and it's causing delays on public transport, uh, creating sometimes dangerous situations for, for pedestrians. So, um, so that we are going to assess where those are and, and address those too. Also, that will have a big effect on air pollution and reducing it in the area, uh, which is one of our big policies because we want to increase the ultra low emission zone. Uh, we'd like to increase that to encompass the whole of London rather than just central London. There are a lot of chain stores opening now and uh, it's creating uh, less of a community atmosphere in, uh, in Edgware Town Centre. So I definitely think we need to encourage more independent and innovative businesses and community groups to use the space that we have to have more uh, fulfilling um, things on offer and that includes amenities um, and things for entertainment um, and for young people to do uh, I would want to encourage for example our local scout groups and guide groups uh, I want to uh, have more independent shops uh, taking up the spaces vacant spaces um, and uh, we want to make a safe environment in the town centre so people feel like they can use it any time of the day. I think uh, a good point there is that there, it, maybe it's possibly a sense of rising crime um, in the Barnet Council mm. and one thing that we will try and do is to improve funding for local police um, so that people feel safer to go out into the uh, town centres. When Jeremy Corbyn got elected uh, as leader of the Labour Party, that was a, a pleasant surprise for us. Um, myself, when I joined the Green Party, uh, I was pretty convinced at the time that the Labour Party were going to be lost to the centre-right for eternity. Um, so I was, I was very strong in my convictions about joining the Green Party then. I'm not going to lie, when Corbyn was elected as leader, uh, leader of the Labour Party, um, that turned my head. and. Because he was saying a lot of exciting things, a lot of things that resonate with me and I think a lot with the people um, of my demographic. Um, however, I'm still here and I'm still a Green member and I think the reason for that is, is because uh, as much as I uh, share a lot of the values of what Jeremy Corbyn is putting forward, um, I don't necessarily see that from Labour councils locally. Um, I don't see it across the whole of the Labour Party and in who is representing the Labour Party. We see it in the membership, we see it in a lot of the supporters, but not necessarily in the representation. Uh, and also, one of the things that is, is still really bugging me <laughs> is that um, there's 48% of us that voted to remain, to stay in the European Union. and. That seems to be, you know, seems to have been forgotten, um, and I think there's a possibility here that this local election, it's uh, it's a chance uh, for Remain voters to back 
uh, pro-EU candidates to send a message nationally to say that we're not happy with the government's stance and the Labour Party's stance on Brexit. We do feel in Edgware that we are a forgotten corner of Barnet. The Conservative Party consider it a stronghold and don't really pay much attention to what's going on. Therefore, your concerns usually go unheard. What we want to do is listen to you using citizen juries to uh, find the policies which will, uh, that we need to improve our lives. Uh, not just in our corner of Barnet, but for uh, the borough in, as a whole, to improve accountability for what the council is doing. Um, and we also don't want to just uh, impose ideas upon you. Um, whilst we do have some strong principles, which people may agree with, and we are not going to shy away from those, uh, ultimately we still want to, uh, to cultivate the opinions um, and the perspectives of, of the people that we represent to formulate policies which are for the common good. Uh, on May the 3rd, when you have the chance to vote, you're going to be given three choices for three different candidates. Why not, why not pick one of us? Just give us a chance and I promise you, we won't let you down.